consistent. For sure, and it all changed again in that last stock with uh, you know Rob's body being so big and JW being super aware of how quickly the shurikens like uh, fly across the screen. I think it was about two or three punishes that he got that ended up leading into at least 30-40% that ended up racking him up to that kill, uh, kill percent there. But yeah. now we got BB on deck actually. Now BB is the one who knocked me out of winners, so I'm hoping that DW gets revenge for me. Uh, <laughs> Looking for revenge. I need to learn that cloud matchup. Now here at Town and uh, not Town and City, Smashville rather, being really patient, BB waiting on that ledge there. As I was mentioning before, uh, you know you definitely need to be patient and uh, ensure that you're blocking the entire Nair. Uh, a lot of people will drop shields early, not expecting how big Mewtwo's body is and how long that move actually lasts. But uh, let's see what JW has in terms of uh, knowing the matchup. That was really interesting. I don't know if there you saw you earlier, but um, Mewtwo while recovering, he used the side B. I'm assuming just to get some height, but he ended up reflecting the hydro, the hydro pump, pump out of Greninja, and it. Whooped away, it's like, get out of my face. That can definitely throw a character for a loop because the uh, ability to sort of, you know, ch pick two directions, you could potentially uh, force a character to SD if they're not expecting that. So, interesting uh, use of that move there. Greninja making really good use of understanding the air dodge reads. It's just he's flubbing the follow ups because he, he's waiting for the air dodge and he's getting them, but then he's just slightly off. Interesting to see these Pokemon without their trainers, but I guess the meta would be that JW and BB are the trainers? Even though both players are playing Whoa. Pokemon, if Ash Ketchum were the one commanding both of them, somehow they would both lose. <laughs> That's how bad he is. Even with a Mega Evolution. And getting caught with that Shadow Galaxy on the, the platform here at Smashville. Real talk, how do you lose to a Charizard as Green Ninja? That's, that's a really good question. It wasn't even Charizard Y, it was Charizard X. Get out of here. <laughs> Maybe they picked the wrong Mega. Greninja uh, in the lead right now, and uh, he, he's looking to get away, but Mew Mewtwo is uh, actually really interesting in the way that he can just, yeah, like that. Uh, a lot of his best options that he can get to get kills are surprisingly fa fast. He can forward you a 110, and that's a really fast move, and that can kill. For sure. And we nice saw right there. work with that Shadow Ball, catching him on the ground. I feel like he was looking for a jab reset, but he had already stored a little bit of too a Shadow Too much, yeah, for sure. That would have been an interesting follow-up. Looking Ooh. for that fast fall Nair, but uh, again, JW punishing with that down tilt. You seldom see Greninja's down tilt beating out something like Mewtwo Nair, which has all these uh, little hitboxes all around. Mm -hmm. It might be just like a little nuance in regards to maybe Greninja's crouching frames and sort of how he's sort of animated in that time that makes him a little bit low enough, because definitely he could sneak around uh, lots of different projectiles from other characters. So, oh, reflecting the shuriken. Can get that out of my face. It's, it, it'll definitely, ooh. And Ooh, nice great. little shadow sneak out. I and feel like the only reason that shadow sneak worked that time is a conjunction with of the him dying away and the platform, platform movement. Away. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, BB taking this first match here in the losers finals here at Smash on Tap 102. Again, Rikushi and Kuya kicks live here on the LGS stream. It is nine o'clock. It is late. I'm gonna go home <laughs> and the sun is gone. I don't like the sun. I like the moon. <laughs> Random bit of knowledge from uh, your boy Ray. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song. Look it up. Um, so we got here ba match two: JW and BB on FD. Lots of space for both of these characters to play. So what do you think is the logic for BB to strike to battlefield against your ninja? There's absolutely no platform to save him from uh, any foot schools, and uh, it's a it's not a low ceiling, but it's not a high ceiling either, which I think would benefit you too much more. Oh, wait, no, this is JW's counterpick. It's JW's, so yeah. That's my, that's my mistake. For sure. Uh, in that case, the counterpick absolutely doesn't make it sense. It makes sense, yeah, totally. And JW, again, being really patient, blocking that, disable, and getting caught by the second one, just as they say it, commentator's curse into the Shadow Galaxy, closing out the first stock, with BB only having 30%. And this is what I mean with the Shadow Sneak can sometimes be a bad option for you. He Shadow Sneak just the down tilt and they got another confirm. An uh, excellent pressure there and that Nair actually still catching that Shadow Sneak the first time but not the second. JW with the tech and BB keeping that pressure on, pretty much Shadow Dancing with him right now. A lot of balls to go extremely low. Again, he got the read on the air dodge but he's just not there with follow ups to it. For sure. And we'll see, he finds a little bit of that Nair, but again, we talked about how slippery and elusive JW is working his way out and landing it, uh, an air, uh, aerial of his own, looking to get that Nair conversion, but missing. And lots of patience by both characters and uh, awesome work by JW to take that momentum back. This could also be, oh, again, waits for the air dodge. He has the reads, he just needs to work on the, uh, the uh, 
application. But there he goes. And that's the it. AP. Punishing with the hydro pump there. 68%. No. Uh, honestly, not too bad. I do not agree with that shadow sneak one bit. I think actually a counter would have been better. Yeah. Just to get him out of there, counter to the like diagonally left upward. And again, BB just you know coming out of the platform, guns blazing. Why not? Fresh stock, invincibility, and keeping that pressure on. Uh, but uh, taking 23% damage in the process. Now it's interesting to see when both characters are kind of at a little bit of a middle pace and they toss their shuriken and shadow ball at the same time. They so sometimes they will, but sometimes they won't because of the waviness of the shadow ball, right? And uh, BB finding a home for that fair. It's actually really similar, both of their fares, uh, in a sense, in regards to the way they sort of slash across. Which one do you think is has better kill potential? Uh, Green Ninja's kills uh, better, but I would take a Mewtwo fare any day of the week as opposed to Green Ninja fare, mm -hmm. because all of Green Ninja's 50-50s would be confirms uh, with just the speed of it, and mm -hmm. it would make him such a dangerous character. Good little patience there, again, by JW, knowing that he's down in percent, so not following through. Even when he has a little, these down throw and down tilt combos, Making sure to get a look to uh, BB to uh, to kill percent, just so we can get that fair confirm or up, up smash confirm. I think is what's going to close it out here. It's interesting. We look at the percent, and we're we're sort of seeing a role reversal of what we would expect out of the percents. We see BB in the corner a lot, being pressured by JW, who's got center stage. Uh, it's a really interesting position to be in. Uh, they are playing for season. They get, they're both pretty anxious right now. Like up throw. And oh. amazing hydro pump off FD there. Does that, does that work if they don't jump? Or is it like, cause I, I know Mega Man's work like that. That's a good question. I actually don't know, but I think that that was just some amazing work there by JW. Very patient with that uh, that stock, because that was a huge comeback actually in the second match. Yeah, that was very important. I don't think BB expected that. I didn't expect that. My boy here didn't expect that. Nope. Can I call you Kicks? Yeah, Kicks is much easier. So Kuya Kicks is just my formal tag, but uh, yeah, Kicks is absolutely fine. One syllable, boys, for the win. Kicks should be, play, should be playing Falcon. <laughs> Show me your kicks. Fal kick. <laughs> Falcon Fal kicks. I love Falcon. He's just so like manly. Yeah, he's, he's the definitely the most macho. All right, switching it back. So we're at on match three, smash on tap, one two. You got JW and BB here in losers finals with one apiece. Now at town and city, BB punishing JW with those frames, but. That could have been really dangerous Absolutely, that. right? Especially the height of that platform at that particular time. Does BB go for the counter. I think, I, think he's, I think he overheard me. He hasn't, go for, he hasn't gone for a single counter all set. And then I mentioned it in the previous game. And he goes for it. Relentless pressure here. Almost a stretcher right there. But BB narrowly evading that. JW keeping the pressure on. But BB having an answer with that fair to the face. That yeah, that move is just so fast. Remember, yeah, remember when Mewtwo came out and like he was bottom tier? Yeah. <laughs> but again, they I think they made the appropriate moves. Again, I loved Mewtwo. Uh, you know, just the inclusion of, of Mewtwo and him being the first DLC. I think he was definitely very much welcome, you know, after being in Melee, being taken out of Brawl, being put back in Project M. Uh, I think that that's, uh, you know, a huge shout out to the development team, Sakurai. But look at that. Uh, Mewtwo's dare catching um, JW's uh, hand off the edge there into that kill, and JW keeping that pressure on. Yeah, that was a really interesting option to go for the down air. I wasn't expecting it, and I don't think he was either, because most of Mewtwo's stuff, if he goes, like, I think his most reliable thing is somebody hanging on the ledge. Oh, three fares into an SD. That's definitely not what JW was looking for. Yeah. As I, was, as I was going to say, I think that most people, when they're fighting against Mewtwo, and Mewtwo is going to do something like an edge guard. I think most of them expect Mewtwo to do like a runoff back air for the, for the mm -hmm. stage spike. Uh, doing the down air to get the spike through the stage, uh, definitely something new. And now GW will watch out for it. But an unfortunate SD. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the. It's just what happens when you play a character as technically savvy as a ninja. For sure. And I mean, we were talking about the fares of the characters. And again, Mewtwo connecting, uh, BB connecting with uh, three fares consecutively prior to that kill, that SD rather. And there it is, into those down tilts, into fares. Good to get out of those fares. I think he might have been DIing in last time, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> All right, so we got these guys facing each other out. BB connecting with that Nair to down tilt conversion. But again, JW super elusive uh, with play style and uh, Greninja's moveset. Nice little use of the grab to up air conversion. Oh, I feel like the fifth guy should have landed. Greninja's grab is uh, interesting just because of the way that the grab hitbox spawns in front of Greninja as opposed to coming out from him. For sure. It's 2-1 uh, it's for BB. 
Sorry, I was just going to update the score really quickly. Uh, because it is Losers Finals, it is going to be best of five, which gives Greninja a second light. BB being very patient and uh, JW actually being super elusive, making use of those platforms to get around, trying to find center stage here. And BB breaking through with that Nair, looking for a home for a smash or setup here, but instead going for the grab to up throw. A lot of technical clubs out of Granit, uh, out of BW. I feel like he's not actually making a lot of the wrong moves. It's just that when he's given an opportunity, he goes for something and he just he misses it up. Like I think he caught Mewtwo on a landing and he did a grab and he's faced the wrong way. And like things like that, where he's doing the right thing, he's waiting for the right stuff, reading the options his opponent is going for. But then he's just the, the he's just not technically there. And I see this a lot of BW when, especially when he SDs, he tends to get in his own head and that can mess with your technical play uh, sure. a large amount. So I think we might be seeing a little bit of that there. But he does get that stock there, so I think he'll uh, even that out a little bit. For sure, and a little up air to uh, throw to up air conversion, and now. Still a decent amount of percentage in the lead, but again, can't can't count JW out. So that's exactly you know what was going on in the first match, and he became super aware, super patient, and ended up turning that match around. That was really interesting. Uh, when the platform was there, he did a falling up air, and it actually edge canceled on that platform. Mm -hmm. He didn't get anything off of it. But I just thought it was cool. <laughs> what is that tag? Three tenth Asura? What? From you two? I I don't know. Oh. I know, ooh, man, very good. With that jab, was that a jab combo? Uh, yeah, that, that was the air dodge read on the forward smash. Very common for Greninja players to do. Yikes. And that gets JW to two wins on BB. So that's two apiece now at Smash on Tap. Now taking it to game five. Yeah, for, for, any, for any of you guys who play up against Greninja, if they jab you, never do the air dodge. It's never worth it. Jab has very little killing power, even if they don't do the multi-jab. Uh, and you'll be avoiding a very dangerous 50-50 if you try an air dodge through it. There you go. You got Wednesday Wisdom from Ray Kushi. I used to be a Greninja main, so I have a lot of knowledge. <laughs> Dropping knowledge and truth bombs here at Smash on Top. Oh, I, was, I, I, I think he wanted to do a dare, but That's didn't trust himself, so he just went for the safe air. Mm -hmm. But he positioned himself for the downer and went too high above Greninja. It's interesting how we see these little like micro mistakes happening because of doubt in for the sure. players. Would have gotten that downer if he had just trusted it for Excellent use of the dare to, to Shadow Galaxy and a taunt. With the the disrespect taunt. off the left side of Dreamland. Jesus. This, again, BB is like super confident now, you know. Um, you know, like it's really trying to establish that uh, that alpha presence here, looking for center stage. But being pretty Elusive by himself, but I don't know what's going on here. JW and, and aware of the shadow sneak, and this is the problem with using shadow sneak too liberally. He understood the shadow sneak was going to come out. He intentionally did single jabs, knowing he was going to try and side B, and just waited for it. For sure. And even if he catches, um, you know, activates the shadow sneak with an air or a shadow galaxy, there's still the potential that they'll come out and still get punished by the long frames of them, or even the. Shadow Galaxy, but instead opting for that fair, getting clipped off the right side of Dreamland here. BB closing out that set against JW. 